Hey, what's going on, you crazy motherfuckers? My name is Big Mini. This here is Operation Firestorm or Firestorm 2014 or whatever the hell it's supposed to be called. But, uh, we're doing a little post commentary this time here. Changing up a little bit. The last couple of ones have been live comms. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's share our thoughts on this, uh, this lovely map just here. And, uh, we're using the RFB, which is, uh, the first DMR, I believe, that you unlock in Battlefield 4. I saw it spawned in as an engineer, and this was what was selected for some odd reason. And, uh, we decided we were just gonna roll with it, because this map kind of suits a weapon like this. Uh, there's a lot of open spaces and long-range sort of, uh, sections of the map. And, uh, it's good to have a weapon that can compete at range, and then when you're up close, you can just spam the absolute fuck out of it. So, uh... That's what we were doing. And also, they got a damage buff like a couple weeks ago, the DMR, so I think it actually takes one less bullet to kill people these days. So, uh, that's okay, and we decided we wanted to try that out, and, uh, it worked out okay. I mean, it wasn't anything phenomenal, but, uh, we're not here to talk about DMRs, but they've pretty much been covered in the past. This guy here, why did you have to start running away the second I came round the corner? I mean, I'm not even gonna count this as a ninja stab. This was a fucking chase down. And then I just slit the guy's throat and then get blasted by some random or who was just standing there. I saw him standing there and I was just like, please don't turn around, please don't turn around. And of course he turned around. Now I had a vendetta with this tank just here, man, for about five minutes. We were chasing each other around this sort of complex here. And uh, I only got a disable on him, which was unfortunate. I put two slams and shot it with an RPG right in the ass, and the thing just didn't care. I only took a fucking disable, which was a bit disappointing. I think it eventually exploded, but I didn't kill the guy. And, uh,. Son, what are you doing camping up on top of shit with your sniper rifle? Getting out gunned by a DMR that only has a 4 times scope on it. One thing with this map, it's not really changed a whole lot since uh, Battlefield 3, so do expect people to just camp up on top of this big sort of uh, oil station thing or whatever the hell it is. And uh, they just, yeah, they just set up on top of it, as they always do. Now, I know they've introduced a couple of new Levolution events where you can just press a button and it sets them on fire or explodes or some shit up top of the tower, which is a welcome addition. I've not really looked up how to do that yet, and I should probably do that, but uh, I only played a couple of games real quick earlier on today. And uh, that seemed to be one of the, the things with this map is still people just camp up on top of this tower that I'm standing right next to. And that's not really too much of an issue, but the thing that annoys me is when I'm down where I am right now and you're looking at the map and you don't know whether or not the people are right next to you on the other side of the tower or they're on top of it. You don't know. Just the map just says, oh, look, there's someone right here, and you, you, it makes you really paranoid, and it's annoying. So, uh, this random abandoned helicopter was just sitting here. I think I might have actually just seen a guy climbing up the ladder right in front of me just there, but it was too late to do anything about him. And, uh, that, that, yeah, this was just chilling out in the middle of nowhere for some reason, so, uh, I just jumped right in here. And, uh, these guys up on top, I was gonna squish them, and it didn't work. It just didn't work. I don't know. I, I must have just missed that guy at the back by an inch, which is unfortunate. And then I went to fly in for a second go, and then I just get wiped the fuck out by something. I think it may have been an anti-aircraft tank or something like that. But uh, it may have been a, an enemy jet as well, because the enemy team had this pilot in the couple of games that I did play here on this server. They had this pilot in their team who absolutely dominated in the sky. He just annihilated any aircraft that we had and then he moved on to just annihilating every tank that we had. So the enemy team not only had air dominance, but they also had sort of armor dominance down on the ground, which was not good. So, uh, yeah, we, I was actually just sort of, most of the games I was just taking on tanks all the time, uh, without a tank of my own, because I would just get killed by the enemy jet as soon as I got in one. And uh, this guy here, I got three slams down on this fucker. I didn't have time to really shoot my, you know, RPG without blowing my own face off. So, uh, we actually done okay there. That guy got taken down, three slams, he's gone. Ah, oh, son, you've got your back turn, what are you doing? Ninja stab, motherfucker! Ah, son, ah, son, you need to watch your back when I'm working around the area. Yeah, back to talking about the map a little bit here. Uh, the map as a whole is very largely unchanged. There's very few things that they've actually changed on the map. I noticed a couple of, sort of, random little bits of debris and shit that weren't there before, and, you know, little things that are here and there, but nothing major. There's no real massive changes that have been done, and, uh, well, I mean, I'm not really too bothered. The map actually still plays really well, so I'm, there's no really, there's no point in making changes for the sake of making changes, is really what I'm trying to say. 
and uh, they very largely just stuck to what they had before in the Battlefield 3 version of uh, Operation Firestorm and um, yeah I mean every every once in a while you you see one of the little sort of revolution event things the sort of little mini ones as you can see there's a button right near me that might there might be the vents that actually burn the people on top of the tower I don't really know if that's the case I'm, I'm gonna assume it is but um, yeah there's a couple of buttons every now and again for things like shutters and stuff on the warehouses and things like that but you can just blow a hole in the wall and after five minutes of this game going there's already holes in the wall anyway so they're kind of pointless, but um, you know, they're okay additions there. I mean, I, I'm sure it's it's fine for having, you know, a sort of option of opening up the door quietly without giving your position away with an RPG, because, you know, RPGs aren't really the most subtle things on the planet. So, little things here and there, you know, that's what they've really done to this map. It's not really one of the maps that they've uh, completely overhauled, but uh, then again, it's not really a map that needed completely overhauled. I don't know. But I want to ask you guys, I want to pose the question to you guys, uh, if you could pick any four maps for this expansion pack rather than the ones that they picked already, I mean if there's a couple in there that you agree with that they have chosen already, this guy gets totally out of play. Uh, if there's a couple of ones in there already that you do agree with, then you know, leave those in for yourself. Uh, but yeah, give me four maps down in the comment section down below that you would have rather picked than the ones that they did select. Personally, I feel like there was a couple of ones that they were in with the shouts of, uh, of being put into this expansion pack uh, and they didn't really get a look in, such as uh, Grand Bazaar or uh, Dam of Ant Peak. How this RPG didn't get a hit marker, I don't know. I mean, I would understand if the guy had reactive armor, but we already pummeled him with RPGs before this, so, you know, his reactive armor would have been gone by then. It's, I think it's just one of those random bugs you get in Battlefield sometimes. I mean, I'm sure I just did it again, right there, in that clip. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the guy was out of his tank and it hit it and it didn't give me a hit marker, but it still hit the tank. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Well, one thing I want to mention real quick just here is that, um, as of yesterday, uh, DICE have the pistols upgrade little thing available if you guys do want to download that. Uh, basically, like I mentioned at the start of the month in my uh, video covering what the Player Appreciation Month was going to have, uh, they were basically going to unlock all of the pistols for anyone who wants that to happen. If you don't have all of the pistols already in the game, and I believe the other one is the DMRs, um, then you can do that. And also those grenades and something else, I can't really remember. But uh, yeah, just look out on Battlelog and stuff uh, for them announcing when they are going to uh, make these things available. As of right now, the only one that they've actually made available are uh, the pistols upgrades. So basically, you go on, you uh, click download on the thing, and it basically just unlocks uh, all the pistols in the game for you to use right away. Uh, personally, I did use it because I wanted to use pistols such as the uh, 44 Magnum, which I'm actually using in this game right now. I also wanted the Rex. In fact, the Rex was the one I really did want, but you need to play the, the campaign to get the Rex, which I found a bit disappointing, so I have to go through that campaign, because there's a couple of guns that I need from the campaign, and uh, why is there a helicopter just chilling there, man? It totally trolled me. I was going to chuck a nade down there, because there was people running around below me, and uh, the propeller just go right in front of me right at the very second I went to throw. But um, yeah, if you want your pistols, uh, the best way to get it if you play on PC is just to go to Battle Log, and there should be one of those sort of news articles up front on the main page telling you how to get it. It's very simple, and it's right there, and you can do that. Also, one other thing I want to mention here. Uh, a few days ago, this could be considered old news by a couple of you guys, a couple of days ago it was announced, uh, but I haven't made a commentary since then. Um, Titan mode was revealed, or at least sort of, you know, talked about by DICE, and it's going to be in the next expansion pack called Naval Strike, and uh, basically Titan mode is a mode that they've taken from Battlefield 2142, it's one of the most popular game modes ever sort of introduced into the Battlefield uh, series down the years. Uh, personally, I've never played it, so I mean, judging off of all the comments that people have left about this mode. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out, and um, yeah, it should be good. I'm hoping that the maps that they do bring out in the next expansion are maps that really do cater towards that mode and make the mode really fun on it. I don't know if they're going to be making the mode available on all the maps or just the maps that come out on uh, Naval Strike. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to assume it's just going to be on that DLC and only on that DLC, the same way they've done sort of Gunmaster and stuff uh, in Battlefield 3 where it was only available on the map 
pack or DLC or whatever you want to call it um, that it came out with at first at least so yeah finally something that everyone's been asking for has been given to us ninja stab motherfucker and it should be good and I'm looking forward to it so uh that's your sort of news update when it comes to things like that but uh towards the end of this video here I want to um take a moment out about talking about the game and uh and uh, you know, address you guys. And uh, I want to just say thank you to every single one of you guys for subscribing, watching the videos, and leaving as much support and feedback as you have been. You guys have been awesome, especially this month. And uh, we're well on track for this month being the most successful month on this channel, uh, well, ever, really. And uh, I I'm just want to take a moment out and thank every single one of you guys. Uh, we surpassed 75,000 subscribers uh, a few days ago. And um, you guys have been amazing with the likes and all the rest of that on, on the videos that I have been putting out for you guys to watch and enjoy. And I'm very happy that you guys uh, are enjoying these videos. And uh, it's, you know, when you get this really positive feedback from you guys and a lot of interaction from you guys uh, down in the comments and, you know, leaving likes and all that sort of crazy shit. It really does spur you on to just make more and more and more videos. And uh, I really do aim to deliver and aim to please. And uh, I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying the content that we've been making here on this channel. Uh, I say we, it's really, it's just me. <laughs> so I don't know why I always use the term we when I'm describing just myself. But um, yeah, thank you for being awesome guys, staying subscribed and uh, really supporting the videos that I've been putting out for you guys to enjoy. And uh, I aim to just continue in the same vein for now and uh, really just amp up video production. Uh, try my best to just make the highest quality videos possible and uh, entertain you guys and have some fucking fun because that's at the end of the day that's what this is all about having some fucking fun and uh, I just love entertaining you guys unfortunately we do lose this game especially in this game the jet pilot that I mentioned earlier on completely ripped our team apart he just took out all of our air support and all of our ground armor support and we would just get left isolated down at sea so uh, that can show just how much jets can really influence the game when you've got a really good jet pilot in your team. So uh, that was unfortunate for us, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.